You can't shoot my interview, bro. You ready? Radio Raheem here with the alien, Bernard Hopkins. You watch? As soon as I saw that body shot drop Liam Smith, the first thing that came to mind was... Well, you mean the first you, round, the first knockdown, or the second? The knockout. Okay. The count out. Did you teach him that shot? I've seen it before. I think that he learned from a lot of people, but I'm pretty sure you, he would tell you that he looked at a fight maybe with my partner or someone else, but you kill the body, you hit a fall. Smith had a good defense here, and Canelo was going around with a right hook, then he was splitting it up with an uppercut every now and then, which was working. Sometimes it was three uppercuts at one time. Uh, but what I like the ring and the ring generalship test, and the ring test, intelligence test, oh, to okay, go good. to the body, get a reaction, right, and then go so, back uh, to the wow. body. That's the exact same fight. shot you yes. dropped Oscar De La Hoya with. Yes. Did you recognize fight. it when you saw it? Yes. So before I knew it was over the second with, time. Uh, did you think Liam Smith was going to be able to Canelo. bring as much fight you know, as he did? Smith, uh, I knew he was a champion. He was tough, and he was going to come across the pond and lay down. You don't leave London and fly all these hours to come here and lay down. You could have did that at home in your own bed. Now that we saw Very Triple G fight. and we've seen Canelo against so, those respective opponents, Diego, say a few words, does it change the way you think of those questions. two, the two matchups? Diego De La Hoya. The match Dream match. A match that the fans want to see. The match that they should see. When you have bueno, this type of hype, Dios, when you got this uh, type of hype bien, turn into both guys can punch and both guys well, first have all, I want to give thanks to advantages God, on uh, both ends. Both came out okay. Uh, I was, my, my opponent it myself. comes to a situation where both eh, guys give up what they think is their strength, foreigners in the negotiations, but not represent their client or represent our client and make this fight happen sooner than later. Lastly, for boxing. You know, Andre Ward has been here, Kovalev has been here I all I worked week. very hard for this fight. Uh, nine how do you see that uh, fight happening? How we've seen both of them in the uh, ring recently. I felt you know, super it all depends on right. how Andre Ward um, prepare mentally and physically for his fight and go back to the Super 6 <laughs> tournament that, mentality uh, where I've seen him outbox, I've seen him outmuscle, I've seen him smother, I've seen him take away a guy's strength and use it against him. It won't be as pues, easy with Sergey because I believe he has fans, the momentum as amigos, familia, far as winning, apoyo, far as mi, being in the States for many years mi, now. So he's adapted and acclimated to not only styles, fans, but he's probably picking up little things from other family, people. Everybody. So my team, my at the end, uh, I think that whoever wins this fight, they will have to take away one of, one of the other strengths we'll to be questions. able to win. It could be Andre Ward, it could be Sergey Kovalev. He said, he said he's picked up a lot from you, that he's a vintage Bernard Hopkins. Is that the strategy to beat uh, uh, the question was, a, a younger Bernard Hopkins, yes. Uh, Ridden Rahim with Bernard Hopkins.